A new Star Citizen Alpha 3.19 PTU patch just dropped just a few hours ago, probably an hour ago. Um, and it's still for wave one and we're going straight into the patch notes. This time around, the new feature that's been added is the new player experience. It says an initiative to improving the initial first 30 minutes of gameplay experience, which will help players understand the context of the world and introduce them to some of Star Citizen's basic features. This update focuses on the experience in Area 18 and Virginia Point. As players enter the main menu to join the universe, they'll be prompted to join as normal or accept the new player experience mission chain, which will set their spawns to Area 18 and begin a walkthrough. Being the new player experience, we are going to leave the details off to give you all the experience of doing this as close to a new player as possible without information. When it comes to the feature updates, locations, they've uh, done some LOD uh, pass, collision, and lighting pass on Lorville itself. When it comes to Arc Corp, they've added atmosphere and planetary metallic gloss polish pass as well. When it comes to gameplay, they've done the mining balance V01. I did cover this in one of the previous videos in detail in regards to all the changes that they plan on doing for mining. So I'll keep that link to that video in the description so you can quickly get to it and actually hear about it. But it's a lot of it's a lot of new stuff, which is interesting um, in and itself. Before we move on, I'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of May. This time is a game package for the 100 i In order to participate, all you gotta do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of May. All right, let's move on. So when it comes to bug fixes, players are able to attach components and weapons to locked item ports, so that's been fixed. Salvage sub items are not attachable or detachable, so that's been fixed. Shattered FPS and large FPS deposits can fail to spawn gem shards, so that's been fixed. A collision wall is blocking the players from removing internal components with the tractor beam. So now that this is for the Anvil Centurium, so that's been fixed. All harvestable deposits may be invisible to players, causing collision and will always become unavailable for scanning and mining or salvage gameplay. When it comes to tractor beams, taking those weapons off during soft death causes weapons to disappear into ground. That's been fixed. Some components require the player to look at specific corners of the component to grab it that's been fixed no ai reinforcement is spawned in a ghost hollow uh, pvp mission that's been fixed various screens around grim hex landing zones are blank that's been fixed when flying near another ship ship seems to hit an invisible box that kicks in random direction that's been fixed players can reattach weapons to hard points with zero health allowing them to become immune to damage and still fire that's been fixed in addition when it comes to technical they've done four client crashes and three server crashes you already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video